I'm done with this. I think this is stupid. Oh, I hate school. College is not for me. And I drop out. Oh, hey. Okay, so yes, it is true. I did indeed drop out of college and I dropped out of college at 19 years old. And I mean, let's be honest, a lot of people are going to think that dropping out of college means you've got all the time in the world. You can wake up at 10.30 if you'd like. I mean, okay, let's be honest, that may mean almost missing breakfast like I did. Hey, we're waiting at breakfast because you didn't come. Okay, I'll eat, one second. Whoa, you're finally awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. Let me just go eat some breakfast real fast. At least we got some kind of uh, nutrition in us. <laughs> Don't judge me. All right, I think it's time to actually get ready for the date. We've got a lot of different things that we're gonna need to get done and we're gonna get ready. I changed again. But it sounds like my family's watching a movie. I think I'm gonna watch a movie with my family now. But that's not what the life of a college dropout really looks like. That is just what the expectation is. Here's what really happens in the life of a college dropout. I don't look like Dobby. Do I look like Dobby? Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dobby. Ready for the day. <laughs> it is now currently 7 a.m. I spent the last however many hours that was getting ready for the day. Now I'm going downstairs to make breakfast for the entire family. That's not gonna feed the whole family. In our family, we all switch off days, as you've probably already seen. So today's my day to cook us breakfast, but let's just say I'm not the best cook. So we're going with something easy, granola. And yogurt, lots and lots of yogurt. And the reason I have to set these things up super early is because my family also decides to wake up quite early. Let's hope they actually like this because we have granola kind of often, but it's healthy and it fills our stomachs. So breakfast is ready. We still have a lot more to do though. <laughs> Today's actually starting out as a pretty good day. So I usually start on my, let's say, schoolwork. When I kind of thought of like, I'm gonna not go back to college, you'd probably think, oh, okay, she's got way more time on her hands now. No, 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 no. I wish. I basically swapped college for what is much more time. I work all day long. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, it's almost 8 a.m. I've done a little bit of reading. I usually am not able to get in a ton in the morning, so I read as much as I can, just get a start at it, you know, feed the brain just a little bit before we have to go and get some breakfast. But I also haven't finished getting ready, so it's time to go do that. Kind of bouncy, kind of crazy, but she's kind of cute. Gerald! <laughs> Wait, look, guys. There's a pheasant that stays at our house literally always. We named him Gerald. Say hi, Gerald. Hi, Gerald. Okay, well, anyways, finish my hair. Let's be honest, my hair is a very, very big love-hate relationship. Some days it's fantastic, and other days it's ratchet. Today it's fan-ratchet. Ratchetastic? Yeah, okay, never mind. Well, anyways. Load your dish and then go to packing. Today's a really busy day for my family. So I didn't realize that we have some very, very important things we need to get done. We need to film some videos for Toa. So I'm gonna have to spend a little more time cooking the food right now. It's stressful sometimes, I'm gonna be honest. Like it's just really hard when you create your schedule 
but then you also have to kind of take into consideration the schedule of other people but like they're disjointed so you can't really make your schedule like i made my schedule and then i received the schedule for our family so you just gotta go with the flow so yeah let's get started cue music eating lunch we obviously all ate lunch but now it's time for a little bit of family work yay Woo. Oh, we're so excited play okay they picked a color what's your team orange, orange. team okay or you need to come up with a challenge all right you guys so as you can tell we're doing a little bit of a challenge for video family. for family for toa let's see what happens Ah, stop. You should watch out the room. Go, Shay, go! Okay, let's go. go, Shay, go! Ah! Are you okay? <laughs> Come here. Okay. Go, Shay! This You're so fun. strong! <laughs> so, what did we learn from this? <laughs> well, I'm surprised you didn't like smash or do you want to learn? Are you okay, Brad? Round two, Shay. Are you Round sure you two. Want to continue? Yes. You don't have to. You guys. Okay, Well, I'm tired now. It's currently 3 p.m. We've gotten so much done. Look at what we've got going on over here. They've got solo cups in there. This is kind of what our days literally look like. It's just filming, studying, more filming, but it's fun. It makes life pretty fun, so. I'm gonna do some scrolling on Instagram, but I think I'm gonna try and do some social posts because I do need to get some stuff out. I feel like there's a lot of times when I'm feeling like exhausted and I'm like, I don't want to do anything today. But I just think about the end in mind. I think the end in mind, you know? And just think like, you know what? Here in a little bit, I'll be able to just maybe chill, watch a movie for a little bit. And you got it, guys. Be good. What happened? Walk up. So she tried to walk up. She just she was just... like, oh, oh we you have just to restart fall. and forgot there were cups on the stairs. So. <laughs> And then I fell down the stairs and hit all of the cups on the way down. See, this is fun. This is something that's really fun about filming the videos with the family, is we just get to do dumb, stupid stuff together, and it ends up really exciting. <laughs> Back to where I started many, many, many hours later. We're back on the couch, and it's finally time to do a little bit of work, except the list of things just got higher, so I have to kind of push that down, and I have to add other priorities above that. Oh, I, just, um, I don't even know where to start. Let's be honest, I'm a little bit stressed. We're gonna start little. I'm gonna start it with creating a monthly plan. Okay, cool, so now that I have been completely anal and made myself a nice little calendar. I'm gonna plan out the next few weeks just so I can make sure every single day I'm being productive content-wise. I feel like the moments that I get the most aggravated are just at myself. I, I hate it when my mind, when my brain won't function the way that I'm wanting it to function. I'm like, come on, catch up. So, I will video what am I doing right now? I'm literally going crazy. Okay, I kind of like this college, the dropout bucket. It needs something more. There still needs to be kind of a topic around it. Like, what would the topic be? There's so much freaking stuff I'm supposed to actually be doing. It's just that it's hard working two jobs. We're working, like, I'm working two jobs. It's just too much for me right now. Oh my gosh. If there's one thing that I'm learning, I gotta make do with what I've got now. I'm gonna sit here and watch all of these videos, and everything's gonna work out the way it needs to. Whether that means the way I'm assuming it will or not, 
it'll work out. All right, I've gotten a bunch of stuff done. I really wanted to show you all of these things that are going on right now because I knew that this would shed a lot more light and show you really what happens. I'm not always happy and coming up with these great, awesome ideas. I, every single day, every single day have this moment that happens. So I'm gonna get my work done. I have a bunch of different calls I'm gonna get on to, which I don't, I'm not really gonna film that, but that's about all that's gonna happen today. I will update you guys in a little while, so. So we're currently packing because we're heading down to England this weekend and I am terrible when it comes to choosing outfits because I'm so particular. I'm the most indecisive person in the world. What do I wear? You know what? I'm gonna give you a little tiny outfit wardrobe look book thingy. Hey, okay, we got the second outfit. We're just gonna go with this shirt, this, and these. Then I've got this shirt and these pants. So fun sharing a bathroom with all of your siblings. Good morning and good night. It's always a good time. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> no, what I was trying to say, I don't have like a set routine. Because basically this entire time what's been happening is it's just been preparation for the day. I ate breakfast. I did a little bit of reading. I did a little bit of just cleanup and reset. So that now that I am ready, I can finally sit down and I can do my schoolwork. Yes, yes, you heard it right, schoolwork. I do schoolwork. And in fact, I do way more schoolwork than I was doing back at college, so. If my computer turns on. Oh, it's dead, dang it. Just kidding, we're not gonna get my schoolwork done quite yet. I'll find something else to do. I'm gonna do a little bit more reading since my computer's dead for the moment. So here's a little thing. In order for me to stay organized, I actually do really need to time block. I write out, okay, this hour I'm doing this, this hour I'm doing that, or I end up rolling Instagram. I like to say that I'm looking for content because that's usually the reason that I go onto my phone. Yeah, okay, anyways. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually time block real fast. Are you proud of me? Look at my time blocking. There's today, keeping me accountable for this. Oh my gosh, it's 9.45 already. Guys, I have a hard time with this. I really do. I really, really, really need to fix my problem that I have with my phone. Actually, you know what helps? Out of sight, out of mind. All right, well, I just finished the reading. Time to do some work finally. So here's a perfect example of exactly what really happens. I am up till 11.30 at night shifting footage, formatting cards, making sure everything is ready tonight so that tomorrow, if I have more work that I have to get done early in the morning, I can just get started and I start the day basically fresh. Sometimes we gotta sacrifice some stuff, including sleep. Right, mom? No, go to bed. Okay. Okay, I love you, mom. I'm going to bed. Will I actually go to bed, though? Do I really think I'm gonna end up going to bed? I'm so done with, done with. It is not always clean. Let's just be honest. I try my hardest to make things super clean, but we're learning. We all have our bad habits, and mine is not picking up after myself, but mainly in my room, so we're working on it. So remember when I told you that I probably go to bed, but probably not at the same time? Yeah. Nope. I usually have to brain dump, and I've got three journals to do so. I'm so done with it. Good night. It is midnight. I have to wake up early tomorrow again. But hey, you wanted to know what a realistic day in the life looks like of a college dropout. Here you go. At least for this college dropout, I did not gain more hours of freedom. I lost more 
But it's okay, because I enjoy what I'm doing. I hope you're enjoying what I'm doing as well. And if you are, check out this video right here. It's gonna be super fun. I wanna hang out with you more, so you won't regret it. Bye. I know I sound crazy, and this is not skidded or fake in any way. This is realistic. I was trying to sleep, and I just came up with another idea that I had to write down, or I will forget it. Frick, I just forgot it. Guys, you guys learn. Like, I've been writing all of this stuff as quickly as I can, so I'll remember it. Sometimes that's the bad part about brain dumping, is I get my mind going, and then I'm like really awake, and it is 12, 15 at night. Okay, good night.